On November 5th, 2011, a 5.6 earthquake shook Prague, Oklahoma, the largest quake ever to hit the state. I'm 71 years old, and I beat the dust out the door. <laughs> Katie Kernan lived near Hague at the time. Now a geophysics professor at Cornell University, she led a study that examined the huge expanding swarm of quakes in Oklahoma. She spoke via Skype. And we decided that trying to answer why one earthquake happened was insufficient when you looked at the broader area and there were, you know, far more earthquakes. And so we wanted to figure out what the root cause was, you know, what was actually causing the entire part of central Oklahoma to light up. Oklahoma has some 4,400 underground disposal wells where wastewater is injected back deep in the earth after drilling for oil and gas. Kernan suspected that they were linked to the quakes. Her team calculated how the fluid moved through the rocks and charted the rise in water pressure at 89 disposal sites. And what we were able to find was that the fluid pressure at the earthquakes went up enough to trigger uh, the earthquakes in basically each case. Four highly active wells accounted for most of the increased water pressure, yet that rise was enough to trigger a front of seismic activity tens of kilometers away. Kernan hopes the results reported in the journal Science can help the oil and gas industry as it considers how to better manage and treat wastewater to mitigate any impact. So I think industry can learn, you know, basically what are the largest risks, what are the risk factors for wells for triggering earthquakes, and then design the wells to keep those subsurface pressures lower to lower that risk of uh, potentially triggering, triggering a quake. A spokesman with the Independent Petroleum Association of America says the industry welcomes the study. He adds that oil and gas producers have been actively engaged in ensuring safe production of their product. Roseanne Skirbel, VOA News, Washington.